Hello, my name is Jiří Šimonek, the CFD support company co-founder, and I would like to introduce you features of the brand new Turbo Machinery CFD 1706, released in June 2017. At first I will briefly talk about the general CFD software changes, then about new post-processing features, also about changes in the graphic user interface, and about new physical models. The CFD software changes. We have used the newest update of OpenFoam Dev as a computational core of the Turbo Machinery CFD. The OpenFoam Dev is continuously maintained by the OpenFoam Foundation. And the second thing that the DCFD 1706 has been compiled together with the newest Paraview 5.3 used as a graphical user interface for preprocessing, case setup and post-processing. New post-processing features. The newest automatic graphical post-processing, automatic generation of blade-to-blade -blade views in selected spans colored by selected variables. You can see those figures in the final report or whenever you update the report also during the simulation run. There is also automatic generation of meridional average views colored by selected variables. As in the case of the blade-to-blade -blade view, you can see those figures in the final report or whenever you update the report during the simulation run. And the third very useful feature is the data comparison in the report. It's useful for watching the design improvements. You can see immediately where you are in the current design compared to the previous ones. Changes in graphical user interface. There is a new event lock window integrated into the Paraview graphical user interface. Useful for users who like to be informed about every step of the software. And another useful feature is the light report. There comes some additional time with automatic generation of blade-to-blade -blade views when the report is generated. So we have implemented a light version of the report which is generated in a few seconds for users who like to watch quickly the convergence during the run of their simulation. New physical models there are two new cavitation models coming within the Turbo Nationary CFD version 1706. Except the well-known cavitation risk function, there comes the so-called cavitation index, which is the improvement of the cavitation risk for both steady state and transient single phase simulation. And also there comes the possibility of the fully transient simulation with phase change cavitation model. Those were the key features introduced in the newest Turbo Machinery CFD 1706. Feel free to contact us in case you are interested in using the new Turbo Machinery CFD 1706. We will gladly answer all your additional questions or give you a one month trial version. Thank you for watching this video.